the starting point is to to try to understand what harmony is and harmony means. We could take several paths. We could see harmony as a state of being. In the sense that the, the, the fact that the universe is here, holding everything within. The stars has a place, planet has their places and 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 so on. We are not collapsed into anything else. That itself is already a manifestation of harmony because things are sustained in a kind of interdependent, interconnected relationship. We're not isolated, we're not little in our little enclave. But we are in so taking that greater perspective to see what harmony could be, you can see that different things in relationship with, with each other. And if you see it the other way, you say, what if everything is exactly the same? The planet, the, the stars, everything exactly the same. They all lined up in a particular angle. That becomes uniformity, that sameness, and but there's not there's not harmony. And so that's one way of looking at harmony. But the other way I look at harmony is looking at harmony from a dynamic perspective, sort of in a sense that it's not just a state of being as a current universe holding everything together within that totality, but more as what happened within that. And this morning I used the example of a jazz improvisation to describe that. It is everybody has a part. Mm. We're listening to each other, we're responding to each other, we're in dialogue with each other, we're appreciating each other, not acknowledging each other. The more different we are, the more dynamic the harmonious process can become. Once again, use that example and say, what if we played exactly the same sound using just one instrument, one note? That doesn't sound, that's, there's no beauty, there's no goodness, there's no, there's no dynamic, there's no symphony. Mm. There's no elevation or ascension of our, of our spirit when we listen to that. There's no participation. So that's one is a static way of looking at what, what the totality, within the totality, the things in harmony with each other. The other way is looking at the dynamic. Mm. And I think in a sense that humanity today need to recognize that there is, in a, in a, in a kind of larger scale, there's the possibility and potentiality of harmony. Mm. Because without that, we wouldn't have been here today. But in the meantime, to say that to move forward, to create that kind of flourishing life that we desire, requires those steps we just described, almost like the jazz improvisation. We need to respond to each other. And the, it moves like harmoni harmonization requires that difference. The diversity, it's diversity that makes, har makes a harmonious world mm. rather than uniformity. And um, so that's why we, we could say we have to rediscover harmony in the world of difference. That means that we need one another in order to co-create that future that we, we wanted. We need your difference so that I can be enriched. So why is it in a world of difference? The world of difference allows us to learn from each other to appreciate each other and to mutually transform. Uh, 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 and, and in this in this process, in this harmonizing process, then we can co-create beauty, goodness, and love. When you talk about spiritual resilience, and that's what where love comes in. Because if we re refuse and reject to see the other as a threat because you're different, therefore I don't know you, therefore I must fear you. Reject that attitude and instead say, you're different, what can I learn from you? You're different, then how can we co coordinate and harmonize? You're different, how your difference can add to the richness of my own being? then we, we realize that we really needed one another. 
So it's, that requires a spiritual level. We appreciate the other's humanity. They are not just a label. They are just a label of a difference. They are not just something that's appearing as a threat. But the re spir uh, re um, spiritual resilience is a rejection to obje objectify you or reduce you mm. to a set of labels, but see beyond that. Mm. And that level, when we, go be when we go beyond that, at that level, and that's where human spirits lie.